Hello guys, this is Thomas, aka Lego Hobbit, and today I am doing a, a review on the Lego Avengers Compound Battle, set number 76131, and this is the first of many um, Lego Avengers sets that I will be doing some reviews on, and that could be used for future films, brick films in the future, and um, just some nice sets, sets to put this play as well, with some of the new movies that have come out in the last couple years, and um, I've I've liked some of these these new sets and um so a lot, a lot of interesting pieces I've I've also heard the seen some new ones so I'll point out throughout the throughout the um, set review today so um we're gonna start with the uh, minifigures and we'll go off from there as I'm pointing out the minifigures and other accessories I wanted to also forgot to point out about the um, the box and the instructions so here are the instructions real quick. It's just the front and then the back side. So, nothing too much there, you know. Pretty, pretty great build, so nothing too shabby about the instructions. And then you get the box, you got the front cover, 699 pieces, 7613, and shows all the figures there. And in the back, this shows some of the play features, as you can see in here helicopter got the little car so a lot of neat stuff that I'll be showing throughout the review so the first minifigure we have here is Iron Man and um, one thing I did notice about for, for when I do some of these reviews I'm gonna have to get a, a little stand I could do a little turnaround but for the first one we're just gonna start with this so you got the, I think this is the Mark, one of the Mark 50s. So you got the blue transparent pieces. You got the, um, the iron fist, iron blue fist he's showing on both, you can, on both hands. Nice um, decal printing right there. There's the back, you can see. The helmet does come up and off. You can see, closes pretty nicely too, so. There's the front of the headpiece, and there is a back to the headpiece as well. See there. So. That's it for Iron Man. Next, we got the Hulk. Not too much to tell about him. It's just it's a one big, one big um bulk piece, and um, the arms do come off. That's the only thing that comes off. The legs do not, but the arms and the hands actually come off. I've seen some, um, um, cre mo like monster creatures and, and like, um, in different sets that the arms, these don't come off, but they actually do, and it's nice, it's a little, it's a connector piece, so, that's interesting to point out, so. But other than that, that is the Hulk, aka Bruce Banner. Next we have Thanos, he's got a nice armor plate on there, the hands do move as well, and um, he's got this um, nice um, uh, sword here, like a hammer, and this does turn, the hammer piece does turn at the top, so there's the back side of him, that's Thanos. Next you get the Outrider. The um, Thanos is minions, so there's a front look at him. If I can get a nice, there we go, perfect. The back side, it's got this connector piece that point that you can put on the torso, and it's got the four legs. So the legs, but they're just hands. But in, in the movies, they're like they're they're like legs. So really, in the movies, what they do is they crawl like this. So, but that is the Outrider. Next we have Nebula, the, one of the daughters of Thanos, Gamora is the other one, so you got the nice um, Quantum Realm suit, Avengers Quantum Realm suit she has from the new movie, here's the back side, and no back printing on the head, just in the front, and it comes with a nice um, tall bladed sword, so that's Nebula, the last minifigure we have 
is um, Captain Marvel, one of the new newest of the Avengers. I like the new right piece that it comes with. These are new right like flame pieces. They can shoot out, but you can see here. It's pretty cool. So nice hair design, printing. Everything's pre pretty much everything on this character is pretty good. I'm not sure. If, oh, there is. There is a backside to the um to the hair or to the headpiece. Just a blank face and a little smirk on that side. <laughs> smirk a lot so and that's pretty much it for Captain Marvel pretty much, honestly she is one of my favorite um, minifigures in this set besides her and um, Iron Man really nice so so we'll move on to the two little cars you get the car you got the Avengers logo and on the side Ant Man does come in the set as you can see and it came with two extras so it's a nice little addition and on the top you got you got the guns that point out they can shoot as so as you can see so then you can just click them click it right back on the here so as so and then looks pretty good so there's the front side and there's the other side the gun does turn around, and there's some nice detail printing there, and just the steering wheel there. So that's the heli that's the car, and for the helicopter the carrier of sorts, here's the side. The wings do spin. It's nice. Got the printed decal of the A for the Avengers at the top there. Four uh, wings on the back, little wing pieces, and this does come up so you can put people in. Detail printing right there, and you got this gun, gun machine gun loader in the front, so it's pretty cool. What you do is you move it. I don't want to do it. Well, I could do it. It's just the pieces start flying. Yeah, the pieces start flying, and you don't want to lose them. Pretty much, one once you barely move it, the, the gun will, the machine gun will pop out, and the pieces will show there. So. Pretty much it for the helicopter. So we will move on to the rest of the build. Moving on to the rest of the build, we have Avengers HQ. So we'll start from the, the side view. Over on the left side, we got this um the signal piece. It moves up and down and it does spin you know, 360 degrees. And this is the gateway that you can use for the car. the car they can move right in or just back or back up right in and this piece this gate piece does move up and then you can once you put the car in the garage piece it's a nice feature one of my favorite features of this set is this pulls right up and inside well one you could put it in and once we put it in I'll show you so what this does you can see under here this piece right here it moves down you can move it you can move it down the slightest and this piece will kind of move down and it will close the garage so it's a really cool feature not too much inside the garage just some window panels a nice view here you could probably block it off if you want but that's it for that and up top of here you got the guns like I said these pieces you should you click on it and it does shoot Got the Avengers A, and this is the landing spot, so you could place right here in, in the front, just like so, of the helicopter, and it does move a little bit, but it stays pretty tight, pretty tight, and locked in place. So, and then this moves up and down. So, we'll move on to this side. We got, we got some wrenches, we got some um, screwdrivers, and hammers. So, that up there, little walkway right here. And in the front main lobby, you got the keypad, so that way the door can open. You got Avengers A in the front. I will show the inside more once I turn it around, but on top, just some vents. And then you get some more guns. You, this clicks down. When you have to you click this down, and then it shoots. And then it shoots like so. I'll show you. Just like that. So, and then you can just stick it, stick it right back in there. That's so. 
place. And it goes up and down and it turns as well. So pretty nice, cool feature up on the top seam. Not too much on the top, at least hit something. So ooh, something I just noticed on here is that there is a door right here. It's the one thing I did not notice. There is a door next to the um, tools and pumps. So and the wrenches. So um, if you turn this around on the back side. So you can see helicopter, you got the car, and then once you move down here, you got the Avengers sit down, you got a nice sticker. Talking about the L Riders and Thanos, and you can set the minifigures in here. And this, it's like a little for the walkway, this will move, this will turn. So you can someone can go in and then they can start the walk out. They can start the walk out and go up to the stairs, little stairs to the helicopter. So it's a really nice, cool feature for the top. The up top part is probably one of my favorites as well. So, and like I said, this will turn. So, that's so. Down here, for the last part, there's this nice computer part. Um, keyboard. The keyboard, keyboard is actually printed, but this is just a sticker. The fan also, um, the gauntlet. So, so you get the door, and then you get someone can sit down here. And then here is where they keep the... Um, the gauntlet. So these red pieces, plasma pieces, they will move up and down so you can open it. And you can also, there's a little hook right here on the side where you can take it out and then you can use this as a so. And here's the gauntlet to get the um, power stone and time stone shown on it. So I'm really a fan of the glove. And then this can just hook right in the Thanos. You can take the arm right off. So and then it just places right there. And here's another quick, quick, quick look of the inside. Not too anything special to really show there, but all the all the only thing really is that this piece just clicks, and then you can move this up and down, and you get the nice um sticker keypad. So pretty cool area right down here. But um, other than that, here's I'll show you another another close view of everything. You get the back side helicopter car garage, the main foyer, pretty much everything. It's a really nice build. So, so other than that, I'll give you my final opinions on this and we will close this video off. So now we will give this my final opinion on the set. So um, I didn't have to rate it, I rate it somewhere in the 8.5, 9 out of 10 range, you know. I, overall, I like the way the design is. The one thing, just with the, um. I'm really fond of the of the garage door and how this moves up and down and um, a couple nice features inside of there with the, with the, um, the Avengers table and, you know you see that a lot in the movies as well so a lot of great features that they're showing and, you know and the cars helicopters you see at times but um like in the Avengers um the um, Battle of New York I remember you you know you see a lot of helicopters and stuff but um overall it's a nice build. Another great thing about this is the minifigures. It's great. You get a great deal getting both Thanos and Hulk. So I really like that, you know, because mostly if you were to find these on eBay or Bricklink, they'd probably be around anywhere from 10 to 15 which, you know, they're going around 10 bucks or so. But if you could find a nice deal. And then um, the addition of Captain Marvel and, you know, some of the usual um, figures of Iron Man, Nebula, and then the Outrider. It's kind of a new one from the last couple of years, but, um, Overall, I'd give it's a great set. It's a great build, you know. But um, so overall, it's a great set. So um, so this is my review on um the Lego Avengers Battle Compound set number seven six one three one. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and in the description uh, there will be the um, Instagram, you know, uh, Twitter, and Snapchat. So I post more frequently on the Instagram as well, posts and um, on on the um, once in a while videos, mostly stories and posts. So, and I like to catch up with the community, you know, and spend time with them, talk on the streams, and you know, just seeing what it, what 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 they're building and see what's what's going on. So um, so yes, thank you guys for watching, and we will see you in the next video.